Ivy Masters Learning Center at ivymasters.com. And today we're going to look at the fourth question from the Digital SAT Test 1, Module 1, Blue Book app. Number four reads, the mimosa tree evolved in East Asia, where the beetle Brucidius terraneus preys on its seeds. In 1785, mimosa trees were introduced to North America, far from any B. terraneus. But evolutionary links between predators and their prey can persist across centuries and continents. Around 2001, B. terraneus was introduced in southeastern North America, near where botanist Xu Mei Chang and colleagues had been monitoring mimosa trees. Within a year, 93% of the trees had been attacked by beetles. Which was best describes the function of the third sentence and the overall structure of the text. Of course, the third section is the underlying section. And notice what it says. It says, and this is how we speak and that's how we write. We make a statement and then we give an example of that statement. And this is exactly what's going on here. Notice it's saying links between predators and prey. It's already established the predator-prey relationship. So we've got the beetle. B. terranus. That's the predator. What's the prey? It's mimosa trees. So it says that the beetle preys on the seeds. And then the sentence itself is saying there's a link between the predator and the prey and that it persists across centuries and continents. So how do we see it persisting across centuries? 1785 all the way to 2000 across continents it says here it's native to East Asia and here it says that it was introduced to North America specifically southeastern North America and we see that st we still see that predator prey relationship hundreds of years later on a different continent we want to take that to our answer choices Answer choice A says it states the hypothesis that Chang and colleagues had set out to investigate using mimosa trees and B. terraneus. So it does not introduce it as hypothesis and then is what they're looking to prove and then it winds up working out. It just says that Chang and his colleagues have been monitoring the mimosa trees. Answer choice B. It presents a generalization that is exemplified by the discussion of the mimosa tree and B. terraneus. That looks great because we could say that this is the generalization is predator and prey relationship persisting across centuries and continents. And after we get a specific example of that, yeah, so we'd say that what's underlined is a generalization. I'm gonna leave that one. Answer to a C, it offers an alternative explanation for the finding of Chang and colleagues. It's not saying that Chang and his colleagues found that if you separate things by centuries and continents, that that predator-prey relationship will no longer exist. It's saying quite the opposite. It's just saying what Chang and his colleagues have found, not C. Answer to is D. It provides a context that clarifies why species mention spread to new locations. Um, it's not saying why they spread to new locations. It's just saying that the predator-prey relationship is persisting. And choice B is your correct answer. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with these reading comprehension questions, the function of the question. Remember, you've got the main idea. That's what's being said. The function is why it's being said. It takes it one step further. If you'd like to see any video from any PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave it in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one-minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.